welcome back i hope you guys are having a beautiful day and if not i hope your day gets better so i don't know if you guys could tell but i am currently sick so in this video i won't be doing like a lot of talking i'm pretty sure i still will because like i don't know how to stop talking <laughs> but um yeah there won't be like that much talking so as you guys can see, my right hand is just busted. It is crusty. It is gross. So we are going to get her right. So first things first is we are going to remove this product. And um, before I do anything, I am going to go in with my um, standing band. And I am removing like the gel polish off my nails. Um, I do have gel X under, so yeah, but I'm first going to remove um, the gel polish. I was going to use my 5-in-1 drill bit, but I am working um, on my dominant hand, and I am using my non-dominant hand, so I didn't want to risk getting cut or anything. So yeah, so I'm just using my fine grit sanding band, and I'm just going to remove the gel polish from all the nails. And then once I have removed the gel polish, I am going in with Born Pretty's gel remover. And this is my third time using it. And I actually like it this time. <laughs> I feel like the second time and the first time, like, I just had no idea what to do. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a generous amount to all of my nails. And I'm going to let it, like, soak for a little bit. So once I have let it sit, like, like soak for a little bit, I am going to go in with my fine grit sanding band. And I just found it easier this way, like removing the product this way. So I let it soak for a while, a few minutes, right? And then I went in with my fine grit sanding band and then I just started removing the product. I do get like a little bit left over, but that's okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and go back and do the same process. And I will say doing it this way was way faster than the time I did it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Th this, this time was like real quick and I really loved how fast like everything just went.
So once I have removed the Gel X, I am going to go in with my McCart cuticle pusher and I'm going to start doing the prep. So I'm going to start pushing back these cuticles. <laughs> I am going to go in with McCart's barrel cuticle bit and I am going in like super slow. I am taking my time around the cuticle area. Again, I am working with my non-dominant hand, so it's a little tricky. <laughs> And then one last step is I am going to go in with my fine grit setting band and I am removing like whatever product I had left over and I am also taking the shine off the nails. <laughs> I am going to go in with my cuticle nippers and ever so slightly just removing all the dead like extra skin around my nail and around my cuticle area. All right, so I am using a press um, gel X nails and I am using the almond one. So I'm going to go ahead and size up these tips. All right, so then next I am gonna go ahead and apply Mia Secrets Nail Dehydrator and I like to put this on two times. Um, I feel like whenever I apply it twice, my nails just stay on for a very long time. And then I am gonna go ahead and go in with Mia Secrets Primer. And then next, I am going to go ahead and apply a layer on all these nails. And I'm using the Oppress um, Gel Base, you know, like to adhere the, the Gel X. So I am going to go ahead, do a nice thin layer of this. Then I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And then once I do that, 
I am going to apply the same base coat onto, like, the nails. This isn't a base coat. It's, like, basically their nail glue, like, to glue on, you know, the Gel X. So, I'm going to put a decent amount, like, inside and then, like, the remaining of it, you know, towards, like, the cuticle area. And then I'm going to go in in a, like, angle and then um, glue on my tips. I am using my McCart's um, nail lamp. And I am using, like, their little goose one, like, gooseneck one. And then after I, like, flash cure, I do go in for another, like, full 60 seconds um, just so I could have, like a really good cure like everything is nice and cured correctly All right, so then next, once I have the nail tips glued on, I am going to remove ugh, remove the shine off the tips. And then I am cleaning around the cuticle area because I did have a little bit of flooding. So I want to make sure everything is nice and clean and I don't leave anything on my skin. I did want to mention as well that I do end up trimming these down a little bit more shorter i wanted them like on the shorter side um this time i was gonna leave them this long but i don't know i, I just wanted really short nails so yeah And now for the nail art so i am painting my nails this color right here and i have used it already this is born pretty's um blue jolly collection like their glitter collection i will make sure to leave it down in the description below but um okay so i do want to say that like my application seems a little weird like because i do end up skipping my ring finger but the reason is, is i was gonna do something different but then i just ended up painting all my nails like the same color so yeah <laughs> So once I have cured the first layer, I am going to go in with Born Pretty's um, blue glitter. And this is off. Like, I will make sure to leave it down in the description below. I am going to do one coat of this 
glitter um i really wasn't too sure what i wanted to do with my right hand i usually try to keep it like pretty simple um it's also kind of hard for me to do my right hand because i am right-handed so yeah but i am going to try to do a little bit of nail art and i'm not even gonna lie doing the nail art just on one finger was super hard so i am gonna go in with madam glam's perfect white and i'm sorry if you can't really see much but i am gonna do a snowflake on my ring finger so i'm just gonna go ahead and do all the dot placements and then next i am gonna connect everything together and again i really do apologize like for this part you know like i i had to bring it like super close to my face because <laughs> yeah the nails came out i think these came out cute you know they are, they are short um which is something i really want because again this is my working hand i do a lot with my right hand um and i just find it easier like having short nails i think they're cute i am starting to fall in love with short nails again like when i first started doing nails um or getting my nails done they were always short they were never this um style like the shapes the shape style but yeah they were pretty short um but yeah i don't know this is how both of my hands look right now and i don't know i i love it um i really love this that i will make sure to leave everything down in the description below sorry for my nasally self i just wanted to record and put a video out there and not procrastinate because i have a lot of videos that i need to start putting out there so yeah i don't know um like always make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys soon bye